look at me getting on the vlog all done and ready to go i am it's monday and we're going to I'm actually go with my husband to a doctor's appointment that's just like a well check and then um i have no other plans today we cleaned the house last night or yesterday slash last night so really i don't really have a lot to do hooray and then um, we don't have really other plans i'm sure my husband does so we'll see but happy monday vlog much yesterday because my husband was off and so I was kind of doing stuff with him went to a doctor's appointment football for Aiden <coughs> and play turn for Angela at the park then came home and cooked dinner and so the day got away from me this morning I cleaned up I didn't get a chance to work out I ate breakfast and I think I'm gonna run to the store real quick which is why I put myself together because I need to get something for dinner I think um, and also get some like veggies I'm gonna start making some green juices for my husband in the morning so I have to figure out what exactly I'm gonna put in it <laughs> So I'm not quite sure. May have to um, tweak it a little bit just for taste and stuff. So anywho, I hope y'all are having a good day and I will see you guys later. Also, have y'all heard of this brand, this Dossier or Dossier or I don't know how to say that. But it's like this um, perfume company and they do like inspired scents. So like this one is inspired by Coco or Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, which I love. And that fragrance to me is so like iconic. Like you, when you smell it, you know what it is right away. And I had it for years and recently stopped purchasing it. Um, and then this Oriental Oak Moss is supposed to smell just like it. And oh my God, it really truly does. I actually sprayed it just to like test it out. And this hands down is like it's pretty spot on how it smells like it and it's really long lasting and then this one i actually don't have this um ysl black opium which is what this is inspired by this is the florentine or flor floriental vanilla i don't know it smells really good it's very florally so um i definitely think it's more like a summer perfume but it does smell very good and again i can't compare that to the actual perfume it's inspired by because i've never smelled it but this one dead on and i think this is like 39 bucks i didn't show you all my outfit before i left to get the kiddos oh i think this thing fell this little dress is from walmart last year and it has this like kind of high collar with these little strands and I just tucked it all in and made it look just like a plain v-neck with nothing up here. It's a really nice lightweight fabric, but it's like fall-ish because of the colors. And then I paired it with sandals because it's hot. Hi. <laughs> and the boys are here. One. Two. Trust me. I'm going to do a little what's in my bag as part of the vlog because um, Paola that I follow here on Instagram who watches my vlogs, hey girl, um, did a what's in my bag and I love those videos and so I just thought I'd incorporate my own little one in my vlog um, because I have a bunch of uh, stuff in here but it's actually semi-organized so I was just going to show y'all what I got in here. Okay so I have my good old never full which on TikTok you know this is like chuggy and it's not cool anymore but um it's practical and I fit everything in it, especially for day to day that I need to carry a bunch of stuff, especially with the boys. Um, if I'm going somewhere, I normally switch it out and I wear something else um, where I don't have to carry a bunch of stuff. But nowadays when you have to carry your mask and your uh, sanitizer and everything and under the sun to like keep yourself safe, then I just use this. I really, really want to get the new On The Go. I think it's what it's called. On The Go um, by Louis Vuitton, which is like the updated version of like the never full so who knows if i'll move on to that but i'm really debating it so i have this one little bag that really carries all my essentials hence the name on there so this little bag i got on uh, at marshall's when i travel and stuff but it's perfect for this big bag right here i have a gift card that, oh my gosh i forgot i had this gift card 
a gift card and I have a comb and I kept this in here because I recently bought this little thing that I wanted to share it is a roller that helps ooh, let's see if it'll focus it's a little volcano stone roller that you used for your skin so it's to help control shine so I'll just show you since I'm pretty shiny I kept a little thing to show you. It's an oil absorbing roller, reusable and easy to wash, real volcano stone. So anyways, Revlon makes this and I found it at Target. So really love that. So you don't have to like cake on the makeup. You can just use this little roller to help with the shine. I have a hand lotion, which is always handy because I'm always ashy. Um, more sanitizer. I keep this one in here, but I also have another one in there. A little lip balm this very handy brush that i have from the dollar tree i got it when i had bangs like the fringe bangs because i was constantly combing them out but this comes very handy because it has a mirror and it's the only mirror that i have in my purse um and then yeah it just detangles your hair anytime you feel like you're looking a mess so it's perfect woman product and um tissue well, i'm getting a call hold please Okay, and then I just have the Lysol, some Lysol wipes in there because, you know, you need that nowadays. And then just normal wipes, which I definitely need when it comes to the boys because they're always getting into stuff. The drawing that Aiden gave me right now in the car. And um, I do have this little purse-like, if you can see it, I have this little purse organizer from Amazon. And in here I have pens in this little, like, side pocket right here. Keep pens in there. And then normally I have a bigger wallet in here, but because I switch out from this big purse to like little purses a lot, I just have this little, um, I just have this little card holder that holds all my cards and then some cash I stuff in there. This is perfect because if I don't want to take the whole bag, I just attach this to my keys and I don't have to carry the whole bag with me. And then on this other little side pocket here, I have another handy sanitizer. And I think that's it. There is a side pocket here on this. Here's the side pocket of the purse, <coughs> which I haven't opened. <laughs> I haven't opened cheese. It's, yeah, it's nice because it's lined in like a plastic material in there. Um, so it really can't, doesn't get dirty, but this was um, from the, this was from practice yesterday. So I'm glad I'm doing this. So I can take it out and a business card. Oh, the tattoo place, the tattoo guy that did our little finger tattoo. So yeah, that's it. That was what's in my bag. Just finished working out but i want to show y'all where i put my workout stuff because you know my house is super tiny if y'all didn't already know not knocking my house or anything just i gotta find spaces for things like this so this is what i do i put my weights in my little like thing behind this mirror but i always take my picture in front of finished getting ready i'm about to film an amazon video i'll link it up here if you haven't already watched it of my like recent finds i will style a couple of the items that i've purchased recently and yeah and then i'll go pick up the boys it is 11 29 right now and i have to leave the house by two so i'm gonna film and then i will see y'all later um and this is what i'm wearing for now i'll probably wear this um, to go get the kids i just i'm gonna throw on a little flannel a flannel top that I just got from the thrift store over the weekend and so and some tennis shoes here is that little thrifted shirt that I told y'all I was gonna throw on top it's a men's small I think I don't know I think it's a men's large because it fits my husband it is um as you can see it but it is got like a little checkered pattern and this like brown green and cream so I thought it would fit perfect over this little outfit here's my little Nike shoes these are super duper old i couldn't even tell you what they are but they're cream so they match perfect with this outfit i'll probably wear it more like this thursday 
date and it's actually September the 16th which means it's Mexican Independence Day. So if y'all didn't know, I am Mexican by the way. Um, born in Mexico but moved here to the United States when I was pretty young. I'm actually from Tampico, Tamaulipas. It's a really big holiday in Mexico but not so big here obviously unless you're Mexican. Um, and there's lots of celebrations. I actually follow someone on Instagram that, I don't know if she lives in Chicago or she was in Chicago and they have like this huge parade that goes on for like all day and night. I don't know if it goes on all day and night, but according to her stories, like it started during the day and it goes well into the night. And it's really cool. Like we don't have anything here in Dallas like that, I don't think, but anywho, happy Mexican Independence Day. <coughs> and my allergies are really bad. So I'm not gonna work out today because I'm really sore and I'm just not feeling it today. My allergies are really bad and my eyes are really itchy. And so I'm just gonna make myself some breakfast and some coffee and run, hopefully clean a little bit and run some errands. So that's the plan for today. <music> a video and I haven't eaten lunch and off ow you scratched me and Alfredo brought me his leftovers from yesterday that he didn't eat I'll eat them looks delicious no Chloe you can't have it Jeez, man. That I got at Tar I went to Target and I already put everything up but I got a set of two of these for five dollars these little candles are um, battery operated for three dollars put one here to fill up to fill up some space here's the other tree yummy <coughs> Then got another set of these two that look like candy corn. So I put one here, and the other one in the little kitchen. I don't know if I showed y'all this, but I um, I set up their little kitchen to be kind of spooky too. So I got this from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree thrift store. Found these little like potion bottles from the thrift store for like 69 cents the other day. Picked this up today, $5 from Target and then they also come the little candles come in cream so I had I don't know how much I like this area but oh this is from the dollar store too it's kind of grody but yeah that's their little kitchen oh this is from the dollar store and we spray painted it black it was like like this bone color come here I want to see your shirt <laughs> walk over here to me Rico Suave <laughs> what happened to your collar Okay, this doesn't specify if it's a sweater or a dress. I got this sweater from Target in an extra small, but look at how long it is. I'm going to put it up to me and show y'all. I could wear it as a dress with like combat boots or tall boots or cowboy boots. Like how cute would this be? 25 bucks. Extra small. I haven't tried it on yet, but... Nothing else going on. I did go to Target and I shared with you what I got. Um, but I didn't get to the library today like I wanted to. And I didn't do much of anything. I didn't get ready. I need to take pictures. I've gotten to the point on my Instagram that I don't want the same background that I always do. It's either a mirror. It's always a mirror picture or like a picture in the area where I film, which is a bathroom actually. And, um, or a picture right here like in on the side of my house and so i'm tired of seeing like the same backdrop so trying to find new places to take pictures ideally with solid backgrounds like i don't want it to be like a scenic picture i just want like a solid background so i've been looking every time we drive for like solid um walls whether it's like a colorful wall or just a solid plain wall as long as it's not gray because that's what my wall is and that's that so I haven't been putting anything out on Instagram because I just haven't had anyone to take my picture one and two I try to make time like if we try to like squeeze it in when Alfredo comes home for like lunch or like on a Sunday or something like I typically I don't get myself together early enough to get out the house and get a picture and get stuff done so I need to figure something out when it comes to that I'm actually
actually going to head out real quick because I want to go to TJ Maxx and Home Goods to look for a gold mirror. I want to replace a mirror that's in my bathroom. So I'm going to go see what TJ Maxx and Home Goods has. I keep seeing all over social media that there's gold mirrors at like Home Goods and TJ Maxx, and I haven't found any when I go. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go to a different TJ Maxx and Home Goods that um, I normally would go to. Let's see if I find anything. I'm going to take you along with me because I remember to take the camera. So I'm going to put you in my purse and then we'll see what we find. <laughs> what? And this is my outfit. This is an H&M dress that I got over the summer. Took it to Tulum in June. Um, and I actually traveled in this and then ended up seeing like the town in it because I love traveling in maxi dresses. You feel like put together and you can like once you arrive. You can just go on about your day. And I just did a post on how you can style your maxi dresses for the fall on my Instagram. So I'll post a little picture somewhere here. And I remember No luck with a new mirror at neither Home Goods or TJ Maxx. Wait, so I recently discovered the jewelry at TJ Maxx and you can't really see me, but I just found this. I picked this up for me. It was $15 and it's a little evil eye ring. How cute is that? It's uh, four, it says it's sterling silver 18 karat gold plated and don't mind my terrible nails but look at how cute that is with my other little love ring and the new Anna Luisa ring I think that would be so cute together um, and then this little a rose quartz butterfly it's one of those facial tools for you know TikTok me telling me to get stuff that I don't need um, that you can massage your face with you it. Have pimple, no, I don't like. Mm -hmm. You have good pimples on your booty, boy. What? That's why you don't got a booty, boy. Yeah, he sees it, he sees it. He's moving towards it. He got it. Did he get yeah, it? Yeah. He got it. He got it. He didn't. Now we can really go and put that. Public Defender's Office. You're a good person, Eddie. What about you? What are you going to do? Uh, the network asked me to bring a show back, and uh, I want to start with a piece on Drake. Oh, wow, really? So, what did you say? 